VIN line. VIN means battery in line with one mega ohm resistor. I have given you complete detail of all the pin of this IC BQ25601 IC. This is the basic structure of charging IC. Charging IC working like this same structure. Let us know about how fuel gauge IC works. So just click charging outline. This line goes to the another IC called fuel gauge IC. A 9 pin IC right here. You can see A1, A2, A3, B1, B2, B3, and C1, C2, C3. 9 pin IC. I'm giving you all the pin details right now. What is fuel gauge IC? Now, fuel gauge IC work like a meter to measure how much charge in your battery and how much need in other words you can say an instrument to measuring the amount of something this ic measuring current in a battery after this information how much current in a battery this in this information give it to the cpu after cpu create charging symbol or you can say charging indications how much your battery charge or how much your battery remain Clear. Let us know about these IC pins. You can see here SRP and SRN, C1 and C2. SRP connected with the VBAT line. VBAT means your battery connector. SRN connected with charging outline. When you click the charging outline, this line goes to the fuel gauge IC or this charging outline connected with the other side to the BQIC. You are charging. In between, a 0.01 ohm resistance call shunt register or current sensing register clear let's draw let's draw it first this is fuel gauge ic clear this line charging outline in between a this resistance called current sensing register or shunt resistance two lines connected with the srn and srp srp connect with the battery connector on this line you get 3.7 volt get back to the smatic you can see here there is a c3 line called bat this line also come from the battery connector v battery connector right in this line you get one cap c0514 right now let's draw it first after i will explain you now another line come from the battery connector line goes to the fuel gauge ic c3 pin in this line attach with a connector you will get here 3.7 to 4.2 volt in this line the um, next line explaining in this line a mosfet connected to another line called vdd a MOSFET connect between two pins MOSFET creates 3.7 volt to 1.8 volt clear I'll show you 3.7 volt on in this line on in this line 3.7 volt after the MOSFET convert 1.8 line 8 volt to on VDD line clear check out this on Smatics you can see here a VBAT line come from the battery connector after this a MOSFET in between C3 and B3 line right here after 3.7 to 1.8 volt in this capacitor or in this line you will get now after this vdd voltage drain to drain now this line become vdd gauge clear now after this this line if you click this line where is this line going now this line goes back to the same ic you can see here vdd gauge installed with one mega ohm resistor a heavy value resistor one mega ohm means 1000 kilo ohm resistance now this line connected to the BEIN line VIN line means battery in line now let's draw it first now this line connected with the bat in line BIN line BIN means battery in line with 1 mega ohm resistance now this bat in line connected to the distance now this bat in line connected to the battery connector TS point. TS means thermal sensing point or you can say thermal line or NTC line. You get 1 point, sorry, 1 mega ohm resistance. In this line, you get 1.8 volt. Here is a MOSFET converting 3.7 to 1.8 volt. Clear. Now in this line, you have also get 1.8. Now in thermal line on battery connector, you will get 1.8 volt. You can understood this is a thermal line working on a divider circuit. I am already explained you how divider circuit work. Remember now back to the smatics. Now you can see here VDD gauge through bat ID 3.7 to 1.8 through MOSFET after VDD gauge come back to the this IC again 
on BIN line B1 battery in line now this line goes to the battery thermal on battery connector now you can see here there is a battery connector bad thermal you can see it a bad thermal line clear now on this line goes to the bad thermal line on battery connector clear with one mega ohm resistance now just let's draw it first in this line a another resistance on inbuilt in a battery just i will show you now on a battery there is a strip two resistance on bad id line and bad thermal line this is a battery strip connect with the battery line now this is a thermal resistance other side connected with the ground now this resistance connected with the ground and one side connected with the battery connector now when you connect the battery this whole line become one now 1.8 volt get through this line now but this resistance connect to the ground other side so divider circuit create suppose if this resistance also 1000 kilo ohm or any value if 1000 kilo ohm then 1.8 volt reduced to 0.9 volt clear after the divider circuit work then cpu sense everything is okay if this line or if this divider circuit disturb or any resistance open or increase decrease increases value this divider circuit or this voltage disturb after the cpu show thermal error in your screen i'm already given all the detail of thermal in previous videos clear 1.8 reduced to 0.9 volt next line scl and sda this line connected to the cpu through this line cpu takes info all information of this ic how this ic work properly or not or get command to this ic now a another line call gpa out first show you in smatix bat c3 clear bat line vdd clear bat line srp srn clear hcl and sda clear vss this is a ground line this ic ground pin clear now bin battery in clear now last pin g gp out general purpose output in this line you can see here this line had two points a v rack l5 1.8 voltage through 5 point kilo ohm resistance to connect this line through this line a 1.8 from power ic a other side goes to the cpu clear gpio means cpu i will explain you in a block diagram now you can see here this is a gpu general purpose output line one side connected with the cpu other side you will get here 1.8 volt through power ic ldo clear now general purpose out line this line connected to the cpu also other side connected to the power ic ldo l5 now cpu sends any problem in this ic through i2c lines if cpu sends any problem in this ic through i2c lines scl and sda cpu internally connected through this line general purpose output line to the ground in this line you will get 1.8 volt logic high now cpu internally this line connected with the another ground pin logic high becomes logic low in this line you got 0 volt after this this ic stop working if this line break or any reason this ic does not work or you have many problems create thermal problems also battery symbol stuck 0% 100% many problems create because this ic does not work you have also check this line gpio general purpose input output line in this line you have get 1.8 volt i am explaining all these lines this line connected to the ground vss line now fuel gauge ic and bq ic charging ic i will clear you i will clear to you all these pins one by one